laparoscopic gastrectomy for gastric cancer. We present a video showing our technique for a subtotal and total gastrectomy with E2 lymphadenectomy. The patient was placed in a modified lithotomy position. 312.15 mm trocars were used along with a Nathanson liver retractor. The first steps are common for both procedures. The gastrocolic ligament is here divided along with the number 4 lymph nodes. The right gastrocoloic vein and artery are sectioned using polymeric vascular clips. Number 6 subpyloric lymph nodes are also resected. Subsequently, the right gastric vessels are dissected and lymph nodes of station number 5 are cleared. The duodenum just distal to the pylori ring is transected using an endoscopic linear stapler. We reinforce the staple line with a running 3O observable suture. Lymphadenectomy continues, starting cephalate to the pancreas and including nodes along the common hepatic artery, number 8A, in the proximal splenic artery, 11P. Left gastric vessels are carefully dissected and divided using polymeric vascular clips. All lymphoglandular tissue around them, including groups number 7 and 9, is dissected. Lymphadenectomy continues superiorly, taking notes of groups number 3 and 1. The right cura is free from all lymphoglandular tissue. For a total gastrectomy, dissection along the greater curvature continues, taking lymph nodes of the left gastrocoloic artery, 4SB, short gastric vessels, 4SA, and the left cardial nodes, number 2. The esophagus is transected using an endoscopic linear stapler and green lobe.
the jejun and jejunostomy is here performed using a vascular cartridge and the enderotomy is then closed with a running trio absorbable suture. We close the mesenteric defect in order to prevent internal hernias. The alimentary and biliopancreatic limbs are divided to create a Roux and Y reconstruction. With a narrowly introduced anvil and a number 25 circular stapler, the esophago jejunostomy is performed. The blind end of the Roux limb is transected using a wide cartridge of a linear stapler. In the total gastrectomy case, radiologic control at the seventh postoperative day shows no leaks and a good passage of the contrast material. In a subtotal gastrectomy, stomach is transected here using an endoscopic linear stapler, blue low. For a subtotal gastrectomy, Birov tube reconstruction is performed using a linear stapler blue load, and the defect is then closed with a running 3O absorbable suture. 